Let's say you have a large batch of photos that you want to rename. Uh, if we wanted to rename these one by one, it would take a really long time. But with Automator, it's really quick. Open up Automator, and we're just going to choose to create a basic workflow to start with. So hit Choose, and take a look at the window. Over here on the left, you have your library of actions to choose from to create your workflow, sorted by category. So you can use actions related to iCal, contacts, or files and folders. We're going to start with this ask for finder items action so the workflow knows which files to use. Drag it into the right pane. We're going to rename the prompt something a little bit more fitting for this particular workflow like choose a set of photos to rename. And starting at the desktop is fine. But we're going to want to allow multiple selection to make sure that we can rename all the files in one batch. Then we're going to go up to the search bar and type in rename. And the action we're looking for comes up. Rename finder items. Drag that in under your last action. It'll usually give you this pop-up about copying finder items so you don't change the originals. But in this case, we do want to change the originals. So we're just going to hit don't add. Now you can rename the files however you want. You can add a date and time to the end of their file name, like so. Or you can choose from a couple different options, like adding text, changing the case. In this case, we're going to make them sequential. We want to add a number to a new name. It's a little bit more descriptive of the album, like Italy Vacation. We want to place the number after the name, but we'll just have it separated by a space. And we want to start the numbers at 1, but since we have a number of photos that goes into the double digits, we'll make all numbers two digits long. Then just run the workflow and select your photos. And this will test it to see if it works. If everything goes as planned, you can click your result, the results button in the last action to see what came up. And if we go to our photos folder, you'll see that they're all properly renamed. Now we don't want to have to open up Automator every time we want to do this, so if this is something you're going to find yourself doing often, we can go ahead and save this workflow as an application. So go to File, Save, name it whatever you want and put it wherever you want. And we're going to make the file format an application. Now you'll notice when we do so, that it automatically adds a section at the top saying that it receives files and folders as input. So we can actually delete our ask for finder items action. Resave it. And now, if we select our photos and just drag them right onto the application's icon, it'll take those photos as input for the workflow. There's no difference right now because we've already renamed these photos correctly, but from now on you'll be able to use this workflow as a droplet and input anything you want just by dragging it onto the icon.